You cannot argue with the fact that the value of water changes from person to person. All over the world, water is seen differently. In many places, water is scarce, while in others, it's the complete opposite. You just can't get enough water. Here in the United States, we have one of the largest aquifers in the world, crossing over eight states. With such an abundance of water here in the United States, it's no wonder water gets taken for granted. Uh, yeah, I think it's easy for us to take water for granted. You know, we don't see the source of the water. We don't know how it's processed. We don't know what happens to it when it leaves our houses or when it leaves our lives. You know, we're very separated from, uh, from water, uh, from, from the processes of maintaining a, a sufficient clean water supply. Uh, we seem to have an endless supply of water. So yes, I think um, I think that we do take water for granted, and our separation from water processes is is, um, is uh, one of the reasons that um, we do so many things that are negative for our water supply. And also, we don't really we don't really do anything physical to acquire water. You know, we don't um, we don't have to carry a bucket to the river to fill it and um, bring it back to our house. All knowledge at its purest form comes in the form of a story. History to mathematics can be looked at from the perspective of it being a story. Our value in water is the same. Stories passed on generation to generation has built our values we have today. Indigenous people in Guyana right now, in the part of the river where I was, uh, they're faced with a lot of dilemmas. For example, uh, whether they should do gold mining like outsiders, and whether they should use uh, mercury, which is a you know substance that can poison their waters. Um, they're faced with environmental dilemmas, uh, just like any of us. And some people are going to choose to maintain sustainable practices and emphasize uh, subsistence life, um, like uh, farming and hunting more. And some people are going to uh, choose to do less sustainable practices, like gold mining, uh, in partnerships with outside miners, too. Uh, in that, uh, indigenous people in Guyana are just like us. They're faced with dilemmas, and some people make good decisions, and some people um, make uh, you know, less sustainable environmental decisions. But for me, uh, the important thing is that regardless of what decisions people make, uh, their, their basic human rights need to be recognized, respected, and protected. Um, and that part of the country of Guyana is really important 
uh, that the government supports um, surveys that will help define um, indigenous land so that uh, the communities, the community boundaries are defined and that indigenous people have the choice over who enters their communities and who doesn't and what they do uh, in their communities. So for me, regardless of what people's environmental decisions are, just like us, uh, they have to have um, their basic land rights, their basic property rights uh, um, protected and respected.